بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس دس از اور لیکچر نمبر نائن اینڈ دا پریویس لیکچر واز اباؤٹ دا بسز اینڈ دس از اباؤٹ دا پورٹس اینڈ دا میموری آف کمپیوٹر بفور اسٹارٹنگ مائی لیکچر آئی وانٹ ٹو میک ون تھنگ کلیئر دیٹ می بی ویل ہیو اے نیو بک آف کمپیوٹر فرام دا نیکسٹ ویک فرام دا ویری نیکسٹ ویک رائٹ it uh, it is a completely changed syllabus right ab tak jo humne chapter 1 plus uh, few topics of chapter 2 cover kiye hain uh, that is the uh, that is completely uh, based on the chapter 1 of new book right uh, the chapter 1 of new book is the fundamentals of computer and it is all related about the generations ages بسز سی پی یو اے ایل یو ایم یو دس دس از دا چیپٹر نمبر ون آف نیو بک سو وی ہیو آلریڈی کورڈ ایٹ چیپٹر نمبر ون آف نیو بک وی ہیو آلریڈی کورڈ ایٹ وی ہیو دا پی ڈی ایف آف دا نیو بک آفٹر دا لیکچر ان دا فائیو اور ٹین منٹس آف کلاس ری انفورسمنٹ آف دا لیکچر آئی ول ان میوٹ آل آف یور مائکس رائٹ سب کے مائکس میں آن کر دوں گی اینڈ یو کین آسک اینی کوشچن اباؤٹ اینی کنفیوژن اباؤٹ دا بک اباؤٹ دا ٹاپکس ایچ اینڈ ایوری تھنگ ویل ڈسکس دا ٹاپک ایز ویل رائٹ دا نیو بک اٹ از کمپلیٹلی چینجڈ اینڈ دیر آر ویری انٹرسٹنگ اینڈ ریوائزڈ ایڈیشن اینڈ اٹ اٹ ہیز اے ویری ایڈوانس ٹیکنالوجی ان دا بک it is not not based on basic it is also uh, also included office automation html web page designing it it's based on that uh, topics right so uh, it's very interesting we don't have any notification from the board right now but it is uh, available in the pdf form not in the market so don't go and search for the book right it is not available in the market at the end we'll discuss about the book right now we'll start our lecture lecture number nine that is a uh, of chapter 2 computer components now the previous topic was about the buses and buses i told you that buses are the wires which connect different devices there are three types of buses that is control bus address bus and data bus uh, as the name shows that control bus controls the overall system the devices of the computer and it uh, it makes you aware that which device is ready to work or not right same address bus as the name shows it shows the memory it shows the location of the particular data that where it is stores to retrieve it and to store it and this is the work of address bus and these are the collection of wires data bus it takes data to different places from one place to another it takes data so this is known as the data bus this is the short review of your previous lecture that is about that was about the buses now in this lecture we will cover two topics that is the memory computer's memory and second is the ports we have the pictures here so you can understand it very clearly and you if have if you have any confusion you can ask me the question in the middle of the lecture as well right now we'll start this is the chapter number 2 computer components and the topic covered are memory storage internal memory that is the primary memory it is in the computer's memory it is the computer's memory right external memory the devices we attach from outside the computers included in the external memory right ports serial ports and parallel ports there is one more port as well that is called the usb port right <clears throat> now uh, start from the memory memory is the storage device inside your computer where the data or information resides right resides means to place that data on that particular place there are two types of memory storages internal memory and external memory memory like your brain 
that you store all the information in your brain. Likewise, computer has the memory where the data is stored, right? And the types of memory is internal memory and external memory. As you know, what is the internal memory which is, uh, which is present inside the computer, right? Inside the computer, this is known as primary memory, primary storage or primary memory. And from the devices we attach from outside the computer that are the external memory and this is the secondary storage devices, right? So there are two types of memory, internal and external where the data could be placed. Now I can show the diagram of RAM here. These are the RAM slots. This is the internal memory, right? This is the internal memory of computer. And we have different slots like slot number three, this is different, slot number two, this is different, slot number six, this is different. So there are different so there are different slots in which we can place number of RAM. Number of RAM in these slots. So this is uh, RAM chip number one. You can insert number two as well. You can insert number three as well. You can increase the number of RAM slots here in this slots here, right? This is the picture of RAM in which are present inside the CPU to increase the speed of the computer as well, to increase the speed of the computer as well. This is number one is the RAM, RAM chip, right? Slots in which the RAM is placed. This is just like hooks, right? Ye hooks hai, ye open position mein hai, open hai. Yahan par hum inko open karenge, RAM slot ko insert karenge. RAM slot ko insert karenge and then isko hum hook ko uh, upward direction mein close kar denge. So it could be fixed on this slot. This is the RAM and it also increases the uh, capacity, the speed of the computer as well, right? We can insert two or three RAM as well because we have different slots here. In each slot, one, two, three, four, there are four slots. You can see there one, two, three, four. There are four slots and you can insert four RAM chip <coughs> on these slots. In these slots and you can lock it. This is unlock and you can lock it and uh, it increases the speed as well, right? So this is the internal memory of computer. Internal memory, right? It is placed inside the CPU. Inside the CPU, so it is the internal memory of uh, computer. Internal memory storage devices that are installed at the motherboard are called primary storage devices. Now, first of all, we know about ROM. What is ROM? ROM is the read-only memory. It's built-in memory. It's built-in memory means it is built by the manufacturers of the computer. Programmer cannot make changes, uh, user, I'm sorry, user cannot make changes in ROM because it is programmed by the computer programmer and it contains usually the basic softwares of computers which run the computer. This is ROM and it contains data that normally can only be read, not written to the ROM is non-volatile memory that it is not affected by the electric current. It is not affected by the electric current because it retains the stored information if the power is turned off. If the power is turned on, it does not lose its information, its data. <clears throat> And there are some more types of ROM that is programmable ROM, <clears throat> erasable programmable ROM, electrically erasable programmable ROM. These are the types of ROM, right? Programmable ROMs like that can be programmed, erasable like it can be erased, or electrically erasable like it, it can be erased by the ultraviolet rays. So ROM is the memory which is built in in the computer, which is present, which is 
made by the manufacturers which is programmed by the manufacturers of computer right and it is a non volatile memory like it is not affected by electric current and the software installed in the rom is permanent and is stored permanently in the computer like which software could be there operating system operating system is a software which runs the computer and it is the basic need of the computer that's why operating system is here in rom the device drivers which controls the all the devices of computer which all control keyboard mouse a scanner printer which these are the drivers which are necessary to run that devices that's why all the drivers are present in rom because these are the need of the computer and without which computer cannot work operating system device drivers language translators these are the need of computer so these uh, all these softwares are present in rom right so this is about ram next is ram i show i showed you the ram chip uh, in the previous uh, picture previous slide so this is ram this is programmable right random access memory the physical memory that is installed in a computer system is referred to as random access memory it is volatile like it is affected by the electric current which means it needs power from the computer in order to store data in once the system is turned off the data is lost here we can write and modify data read write and modify data ram mein hum data ko modify kar sakte hain but rom mein nahi theek hai to ram is affected by electric current as far as we have the electric current it works and if we, we don't have it does not work right now the third uh, memory is a cache memory uh, have you seen in your mobiles that there are some cache data which you have to delete uh, to make the storage it is a temporary data right a small but fast cache memory in which the content of the most commonly accessed locations are maintained can be placed between the cpu and the main memory you can see here the diagram of cpu and memory between cpu and memory there is a cache memory right jo program frequently use hote hain jo bar bar use hote hain that is uh, placed by the cache memory completely temporary memory hai aapko frequent quick access deti hai aapke jo particular uh, jo software aap use kar rahe hote hain jo bar bar use kar rahe hote hain uske access deti hai quick access deti hai that is the cache memory and it is placed between the cpu and the main memory when a program executes the cache memory is searched first cache memory first search karti hai jo quick access hota hai jo frequently use hote hain like if we are using a, in a facebook frequently in my mobile it is present in the cache memory and execute it quickly right now we comes to the external memory the uh, you uh, you can see the uh, pictures here the external memory magnetic disk magnetic tape optical disk external memory is a type of data storage devices for a computer that is kept outside the computer in its own casing if i am talking about the usb the floppy disk the cd it has its own casing it does not inserted in inside the computer it is from the outside the computer and after using it we can remove it but internal memory we cannot remove it of external memory we can remove after use it hard disk could be a floppy uh, could be an external uh, memory like hard disk is also available uh, as an external storage as well floppy disk usb flash disk optical disk are the example of external storage the device storage devices which are uh, used from outside the computer are known as the external storage devices right so uh, till now they are uh, repeating it again memory storage types of memory storage internal and external i showed you the diagram of ram here and the slots of ram in which we can place the ram and increase the capacity and speed of the computer and after that internal memory rom 
RAM and uh, ROM is the non-volatile memory and RAM is the volatile memory affected by the electric current. After that cache memory and which is you which is a quick access of uh, uh, different softwares. External memory the different devices which are placed from outside the computer to store your data. Is there any qu uh, question till now? Yes, Pita, is there any question? Is it clear to you all? Okay, moving toward the next topic, that is the ports. Hmm. So these are the ports. You can see in the picture that these are the ports. Uh, ports is just like the socket of your um, plug, right? Uh, everybody has uh, the different sockets at home to, to plug in different devices. Likewise, there are ports. These are the sockets to plug in different devices. On computer, a port is generally a specific place for being physically connected to some other devices. Usually with a socket or plug, which we call connectors, and there are two types of ports, right? Serial ports and parallel ports. Serial ports, and I'll show the diagram again in the next slide as well, the serial ports and parallel ports separately. So ports are the sockets or the interface to connect different devices, right? Ports are the sockets or interface and interface to connect different devices. The serial devices for serial communication and parallel devices for parallel communication. This is the serial port, right? Serial port transfer information one bit at a time, making it slower than the parallel port. Serial port can be nine pin or 25 pin connector. Serial ports can connect to different devices such as modem, pl plotters, printers, scales, and mouse. Okay, serial port or parallel port me kya fark hai? Before that, you can uh, you must know that how the data is transferred. Okay, serial ports are the nine pin uh, connectors. Serial ports are the nine pin connectors, right? Before uh, before knowing about the serial port, I want to know. Uh, I want to tell you that these pins are used to transfer data, right? These pins are used to transfer data. There are nine pins, or there could be nine pins or twenty five pins, right? One pin is used to transfer one bit of data. As you all know that, that there are uh, eight bits in one byte. You all know that there are eight bits in one byte. And data is transferred not by byte, but by bit. Data is transferred bit by bit, right? Data is transferred bit by bit. So in serial port, one pin is used to transfer one bit at a time and other pins are used to, con uh, to uh, for the control signal, to control the signals, to control the signals. And one pin is used to transmit one bit at a time. Why serial port is slow? Because it transmits only one bit at a time, right? And serial port can connect different devices modem plotters printer keyboard mouse there are 
nine pins or 25 pin connectors. Uh, now the serial ports are replaced by the USB ports. Okay, before serial ports were done, but these are now replaced by the USB ports. We have USB ports for keyboard, mouse and different devices, even for the printer as well. We have uh, USB ports. So what is this? Serial port transmit one bit at a time. That's why it is slower and 8 bits is equal to 1 byte so 1 bit is transmitted at a time this is the parallel ports Paral parallel port is used for data transfer between a computer and a peripheral devices through a 25 or 36 pins connector you can see the numbers here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 25 right these are 25 pin or 36 pins connector in parallel port multiple bits are transferred at one time that's why it becomes faster right it becomes faster uh, ports uh, in serial port we transfer one bit at a time but in parallel port we can transfer multiple bits at a time it is the kind of port used to connect tape drivers, CD-ROMs, extra hard disk and most of the printers. Previously we had the printers, uh, uh, we had the parallel port for printers but nowadays everything is connected by the USB print, uh, ports. We have U USB ports in different devices, right? Parallel, so again repeating, uh, there are 25 pins, there are 25 holes here, 25 pins and these are used to transfer multiple bits like it transfer 8 bits at a time. In serial port we transfer 1 bit at a time but in parallel ports we transfer 8 bits at a time and the rest of the uh, pins are used to control signal for control signals, right? There are other ports as well like VGA port uh, you had seen uh, in the uh, previous uh, CPUs that there are uh, uh, there uh, is a round blue uh, purple and green ports uh, small for connecting mouse and keyboard that was called the VGA ports right. <clears throat> so this is all about parallel ports serial ports. There are two types and ports are the sockets at the back of the CPU used to plug in different devices, right? Serial ports transmits one bit at a time. Parallel ports, uh, parallel ports transfers eight bits at a time and the rest of the uh, pins are used to control signals. Serial ports are slower ports slow uh, transmission of data in parallel ports there are fast transmission of data serial ports parallel ports and that's it now <clears throat> if you have any question you can ask me Okay, I'm going to unmute all of you, allow you to speak. <clears throat> First, we will talk about the book, the new book, and then we'll start the inner reinforcement. Arham Reza, are you there? Arham <clears throat> Raza. Please unmute your mic and tell me what are the ports. Arham Raza, are you there? Okay, you can write it down.
अभी हर यार अभी हर यार वॉट आर द सीरियल पोर्ट्स वॉट आर द पैरल पोर्ट्स अभी हा एंड म्यूट योर माइक एंड टेल मी वॉट आर द पैरल पोर्ट्स Michal unmute your mic and tell me what are the parallel ports Michal unmute your mic Yes I know it is uh, I can see the name of annotator. Yes, these are the parallel ports are used for uh, data transfer. But what is the difference between uh, parallel port and serial ports? What is the difference between parallel ports and serial ports? Muhammad Saim What is the internal and external memory Saim you can unmute your mic What is the internal and external memory Sam can you hear me okay and external memory and what is the external memory hera okay good uh, hera secondary what is the secondary storage I am allowing you to unmute your mics so please you all can unmute your mic and ask me any question related to uh, to the new book or uh, the topic we have covered or uh, now the topics yet to cover
you can unmute your mic and you can ask me any question related to that. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the operating system. Uh, and because the, uh, the next chapter of the new book is based on the operating, different operating system, right?